Hi, I am Cesar Santos and today I'm going to tell you how I went about painting a dream. As an artist, I like to focus and develop a series of work at a time. And the reason is that the more you explore a subject, the more in-depth you go about it, the more you understand it, and the language of creation develops as you explore a specific subject. So you become better at expressing it. If you look at the history of art, you will see how artists have a specific um, voice, a specific um, theme that they are developing and they continuously do that. From Caravaggio to Rembrandt, I mean the most popular as well as many many other artists you can see that you have to focus on one subject to develop and that's different though than trying new things when you're beginning when you're studying art you want to try new things new palette new colors and uh, a different type of application even maybe paint different things to see what you like but after you acquire all the techniques and and you feel comfortable with the process it's better if you focus on a specific series sometimes things show up and as an artist you have to pay attention to what happened you cannot be either blindly focus on a series that you miss out on life and opportunities and things that might come your way that can enhance your art well i had a dream that had nothing to do with this series that I'm developing but at the same time it caught my attention because it was very visual I saw a lot of emotions in that dream and I wanted to explore it visually on a painting and I'm not a person that tries to decode my dreams or I don't pay much attention to my dreams I said why not let me get up right now and start painting basically the dream was that it was a dark area in my backyard and in my studio and suddenly one of my pages from my notebooks folded into a purple plane and it started flying around my studio and it came out through the glass and landed in my deck here that I built and I saw the deck as an airport and after that one landed more planes came in and started landing and it was very strange and I said why not let me paint this surrealistic feeling this uh, surrealistic image that is happening while I'm dreaming. Surrealism already passed. That's a theme that has been explored many times and especially its connection to dreams and the subconscious. I've never planned to develop a series in surrealism in the way we understand it, but why not explore with this rare case and see what it takes me. As it was dark, I came out to my backyard looking for the area that would signify what I just envisioned in my dream. So I took a few pictures of the surroundings. I went and got one of my pages from my notebook and started folding it as the paper plane as uh, a side vision. Yeah, exactly like this one. The idea is that even though you're painting from imagination, you are looking for reference to tell the story. Painting from imagination is not that you blindly paint on the canvas imagining things. Imagination comes first, just like in a movie. You imagine the story, you look for elements, actors to tell the story in a natural way so that people understand what you're trying to communicate. As a painter, if you have natural elements in our painting, it doesn't mean that we were just copying nature. It means that we are using nature to fit our imagination. After gathering enough reference from nature to be able to narrate my story, my dream, I decided to just draw directly on the canvas with a piece of charcoal and start with the placement, the marking of where the main elements are going to go. Basically designing the whole composition in a linear way. And after this is completed, after I'm, I feel that the plane was about to land and the airport markings were there, I got just raw umber and started doing my wash drawing. A wash drawing is pretty much a thin amount of paint that you can increase the quantity of the thickness of the paint by the idea is to solve the problems of the underpainting. Arranging the values as they fit with the composition that you drew, deciding where areas are gonna go darker, lighter. In this case, I wanted to use raw umber also because it's a great color that fit the narrative, the subject that I'm painting. As I had that dream, it was very dark and I remember the lights of the airport being the brightest thing. In this stage, I'm trying to tone down all my values completely unified together so that the brightest lights are gonna be 
the ones calling the attention, calling the attention for the airplane to land. And even though the paper plane was white as I got a page from my notebook, I still had to subdue that white. I had to make it a tone darker so that the lights of the lamps would be the brightest thing in the painting. I kept working on these values just with that one color until the whole scene felt real, felt like my dream. After that layer of raw umber, that brown was dry, I decided to find the color, the local color of the things, of the elements I was painting. And the grass is intricate because at night it still has a lot of information but it has to be unified. You cannot describe the grass as it needs its attention because otherwise it'll be too dramatic, too contrastic and I wanted the grass to stay in the background, to stay quiet but at the same time keep its intricacy. I kept in mind during the application of color that the whole scene had a field color that it was yellowish because this artificial lighting were projecting this warm tone everywhere. So I want to make sure that the whole scene, the whole mood was created with color. And remember, after each layer dries, is the new opportunity to do some changes in the painting. While the paint is wet, you have to focus on what you needed to achieve at that layer. So the last stage was for me to step back, look at the whole painting as a whole and decide where to sharpen things, where to look for contrast, where to maybe glaze an area with a certain color and take it to a finish. Usually I don't talk about the symbolism behind my paintings. I like for the viewer, the spectator to react to it in a very direct and simple way and for the viewer to add to the painting whatever he wants. I don't want to tell people what to think but in this case since it was an anomaly I think that I succeeded in terms of the mystical feeling of that dream and having my writing my poetry flying around my house in my backyard perhaps landing or taking off who knows it's time to wrap this video up I had a dream one night about a paper plane flying in my backyard and I had to paint Whoosh.